Okay, so before we do anything, what we're just going to do is we're going to flip it over. And we're going to remove the battery, the hard drive, and the optical drive. So we're just going to flip the tab, take out the battery, and we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver, and we're going to take out the screw that's holding the hard drive in place. And to remove the hard drive, there's like a little slot that you put, you put your thumb in and just pull it out. And that's your hard drive. Now we remove the optical drive. So we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver again and undo the screw in there. And I don't know if, any, if every computer has this, but there's a little tab in there. So we're going to take our a little flathead and we're just gonna pull it out and there's our optical drive. The next step is we're gonna remove the hinge cover. So we're gonna open up. Make sure you put the screen all the way back. And the hinge cover is this whole piece of plastic that runs along here. So to remove it we're gonna take our flathead screwdriver and we're gonna place it in the little slot that's on the side and then just slowly push up. Now we're just going to take this and you don't have to be gentle but you know just wait for it to pop out. And here we go. This is our hinge cover. Okay now we're going to remove the keyboard. There are two screws, one on the right one on the left, that we're going to remove. So we're just going to take our Phillips and undo them. Okay, now this part's a little more difficult. Um, we're going to take our flathead, and on the sides there are little crevices, and you're just going to try to stick your flathead in there and um, push out. Just find a, here we go, find a place that's open, or a little open, and just push it forward. And again, it just takes some toying around. You're really not going to hurt anything unless you do something to it. But so here we go. We've released the keyboard from the little things here. These are what holding them in. These little tabs right here. So, so as you can see, there's a little cable that's holding this in. So to remove it, what we're going to do is. So as you can see, this is the cable, and this is the little thing that's holding it in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our finger and just flip it over. And then from there, we can just pull it out. Okay, so what we're going to do in this step is remove the display assembly. And that's basically just a screen. So we're going to remove quite a few things here. We're going to have to remove the WLAN card cables. We're going to have to remove a sleeping tab, which I don't know what that is, but I know how to remove it. And we're going to have to remove a display cable and the thing that actually connects the video card to the monitor and that's the thing that gives you the picture. And we're going to have to actually take out screws that are connecting the swivel tabs on the monitor. So so to remove the WLAN card cables um, all we're going to do is just basically just take them off. I'm just going to pull them up and then loop them around. There we go. So now they're up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver and we're going to place it in the screw that's right next to the pull tab. Okay. You don't really need to remove the screw because I don't think it'll come out. It didn't come out with me the last time I did this. So now what we're going to do is we're just actually going to take the pull tab, which is this little blue tab here, and we're going to pull up. And then we're just going to take the cable, and there we go. So as you can see, this little thing that's right here is what connects the video card to the monitor, and that's how you get your picture. Okay, now that we've removed that, we're going to take the screws out of the swivel thing that connects the monitor to the computer itself. And those are located right here and right here.
Now after we do all that, we're going to have to remove the sleeping pull tab thing, which is located in the back here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to flip the screen up again, and we're going to have to turn it, and it's a very tiny screw that is right here. It's really, really tiny. So if you can't get it with your if you can't get it with your little Phillips screwdriver, you can try using a like a Leatherman and try and use some type of smaller thing to get it out of there. Okay, so after you do that, now you should be able to just lift up on your, your screen and it should come off. And now this is your screen. And now we're just left with the computer itself. Okay, now that we've removed the screen, now what we're going to do is we're going to take off the palm rest. And the palm rest is this silver thing that goes all around here. And it's also this white lining. So to do that, we're just going to flip it over. And we're going to take out the 11 remaining screws which are in this picture. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unscrew all of the screws. Okay, now that we took out all the screws, we're just going to flip it over. And the whole thing should feel kind of loose, which that's a good thing. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our flathead and run it along the edges of it. And uh, hopefully we should be able to get into the actual size of the computer. Now, while you're doing it, there are going to be tabs that are actually holding this in. So all you're going to do is you're just going to push it, push in the screwdriver, and that should release it. Okay. So before we take off the the palm rest after you get it all off, we're going to remove the touchpad sensor cable, and that's ba we're just basically going to do the same thing we do with the keyboard: is follow the little blue cable. And we're going to flip the door up. And we're just going to pull it out. Once you get everything done, you should just be able to lift it right out of place. And here is the touchpad. This is the sensor cable for the touchpad. And this is the palm rest. And what we are left with is the computer's insides. Okay, so to remove the graphics card, we're going to remove two screws. One is right here, and the other one is right here. So we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver, and we're just going to unscrew them. Now there are little springs under there. I don't know why there are springs there, but they are. And what you should be able to do is just hold it on its sides. Lift it up from. Try to find a spot where you can get some good grip. Right there. And then grab it from this and just lift it up. And this is the graphics card. This is the underside. That's the cooling part. That goes right next to that copper thing there. That's the slot that slides into right there. And yeah, now we have removed the graphics card from our laptop.